A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really... I, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I am indeed a student, but I could... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something.
It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. It's Wiganwell Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Uh, ancient magic? Yes. 
A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place.
That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be built here? What's this? Professor Fink! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. 
Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. and try again. suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light.
Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... Oh! 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 Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed... 
wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it?
A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right, just have to wait for the Deep right breath. moment. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone <coughs> through a dumb box. <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you... I'm glad to be here, ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Must be. All right. Starting 
Deep breath. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, you will adore astronomy. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! I'm not sure this is the right spot. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wigginwald potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wigginwald potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigginweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career. After much discussion with the headmaster and the department. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. 
This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide Revelio. can provide? for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be ex and I'd like to be sure you get to hop Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and... I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's... Very well. Enough chit-chat. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the... Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. 
It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more, and she may feel obliged to share details with the head mo Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about it. For now, focus on your... good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger.
Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt, so on. So, now, the basic is well done. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with a dish. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. How 
Nice to see you, my young friend. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him for some of the lessons. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember... <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so... What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and re Splendid! Don't lose your composure. Now, I think it is like Gobstone. Excellent control there. That's it! Very 
good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly co Miss Onai. Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? That is how it's done. make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. What's this? Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around
This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of you. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor... Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a spec... your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, Better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan.
What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you... In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you out... Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find them... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, no time to waste. The sooner you complete your work... Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, I have a ring. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Never forget what that old book girl said. 
I trust the preliminary tasks weren't... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly... Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty color thought it too accurate and lashed out. possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating Lumos. that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. <laughs> to peek at the
This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat. Although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! 